Hi guys, I hope you're all well. In this video, I want to discuss what you should do between a fat loss phase and a muscle building phase. Now, this is a very important period of time. The reason why is at the end of a fat loss phase, it can be very easy to gain body fat. You may have done this yourself in the past. You followed a diet for a period of time, and then you've started eating a lot, lot more calories once again, and therefore you've gained a lot of weight within a short period of time. So as such, it is important to have a relatively cautious approach between the fat loss phase and the muscle building phase. And my suggestion to all of my coaching clients is to spend approximately two to four weeks slowly increasing calories, slowly dropping cardio with the goal of keeping your weight approximately where it is at the end of the fat loss phase. And therefore this will allow your metabolic rate to stabilize and then you can start focusing on a monthly weight gain target within the muscle building phase suitable to your training age. But it's important to have this mini two to four week period where you're just slowly adding calories, slowly decreasing cardio with the goal of keeping the weight the same. Now it's important to make the distinction be between most people's fat loss phases and someone that's actually dieted down for a competition. So a fitness model competition or a bodybuilding competition. Within this context it's worthwhile actually trying to deliberately add some body fat immediately after the show. The reason why is Individuals like this get, get so lean to the point where it's not particularly healthy to be walking around this lean and therefore adding some body fat immediately after a show is actually a positive to get the body fat into a healthier state. But for most individuals who are getting as nowhere near as lean as what individuals get to for competitions, it's worthwhile having this two to four week period where you're slowly adding calories, slowly drop cardio and then you can start transitioning to the muscle building phase with the goal of focus on a monthly weight gain target suitable to your training age. So focus on implementing this mini two to four week block in between the phallus phase and the muscle building phase in the future and this will help you to maintain your conditioning that you've achieved in the fat loss phase before actually heading into the muscle building phase otherwise you'll gain a lot of body fat within a short period of time so hopefully that's been useful like the video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already has got lots more content coming thank you very much